Like, what, what has this uh, week been like for you, you know, reflecting on what happened last game, correcting it, and all that stuff? Yeah, just learning, uh, moving on, learning from the mistakes, and then trying to just be better this week. How do, you, how do you tune out the criticism that's been going on just around, like, around the country? Yeah, I just, I know, I don't look at any of that stuff. I, I focus on what's going on in this building with me and the guys, you know, what my coaches are seeing, uh, things that go on in the game, and then we just try to make things move on. After a game like that, is it sometimes the best thing is to get back out there and have another game to play the yeah, I mean, I don't even know if we need that. You know, I feel like the mindset is, you know, within 24 hours we've all moved on and, and you know, I've learned from those mistakes and you know, those things I want back, but, you know, those are behind me and you try and reapply them in practice. What have you seen on film from Buffalo? Yeah, just a great overall defense. They do a lot of good things. You know, they're obviously, you know, one of the best defenses, one of the best teams. You know, so it's going to be a great challenge for us. I'm really excited for it. Um, you know, I think, I think I think we do some good stuff against them. I'm excited to go out there and, uh, and approach it that way, uh, take the challenge on as a team, and I think we do some good things. Sorry if this is a repeat tactic, but what, what is your process after a game, win or lose, but obviously this scenario I'm losing, in terms of looking at what you did in that game, and, and when you look back at the plays that you want back, the obvious ones, what is that? Is that a sick feeling in your stomach, or are you heavy? How do you, what, how do you process that? All right, of course, there's always some plays you want back. And then in the last game, of course, I had some ones that I really want back. You know, so, but you have to look at it from both sides. You, know, you have to say, okay, what were the positives of this game, the negatives of this game? You know, I got to learn from those ones. I'm going to learn from those ones. And then uh, how can I take the positives and keep, keep going on those? And then us as a team, you know, how can we help you bring everything that we did good in that game? Because it was a lot of good stuff and bring it into this next week. Because you had a pretty good start. Right. What do, you, what do you feel like when, where did it go the other way for you? It's just football. I mean, it, yeah, I feel like almost every week you guys are asking what happened in the first half compared to the second half. It's just football. And, uh, you know, you got to have short-term memory. you got to be able to move on. you got to make plays when something played before it didn't go well. And, you know, we're going to keep growing and trying to, trying to get better at that. How hard is it to balance? You want to make a play, but now even you're saying, you know, maybe it should go away. How hard is it to balance? Right, I mean, in that game, obviously, in, in desperation, you know, I can't be forcing the ball like that. And, you know, we have a great defense. i got to be keep, keep relying on them and, and allowing them to put us, put us in good situations in offense. And we did we did a lot of good things. So we just got to be able to, uh, to keep learning from that. i got to learn from that and we'll take care of the ball. Zach, there's been a lot of talk about this game being a magic stick for you guys. But in the locker room, is there, any, is there a part of you guys that it's not a measuring stick? You're going in there to win. Right. You have to see how you match up. Right, exactly. You know, these guys are good, but we're, we're good. We're a good team, um, and we're close, and things are getting closer every week. And, uh, I think for us, it's, it's going out there and taking on the challenge of understanding that we can beat these guys, and you know, we just got to go out there and execute. And uh, execution is the key, you know, all the way around the board for us. You in a game like this, what game? You, you want to lead your team to win, but you don't need your team. I wouldn't say it's difficult. I'd say the difficulty is, is being aggressively smart. And I had some plays in that last game that just weren't smart, and I got to take those out. You know, sometimes interceptions are going to happen when the defense makes a good play, and you can live with those ones. But I got to be able to to be uh, better on some of the other ones. But really, you know, the mindset is go there. You got to be aggressive to win games. Um, I feel like we've done that last game. We did that, but it's like how can we clean up the other mistakes?